Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie, here with Adam. From Minel. And today we're talking symbols. There are like three basic families of, of stack. China on top, China underneath, two crashes are right. If it doesn't sit really nice and flush with it, you get a really nasty, trashy sound that is real aggressive. And you can change the tension to dry that out. Going down to the china underneath, it dries everything out a bit. Now, if the china is the same size, or the symbol gets larger on top, or the china gets smaller, you actually turn it into a very white noise, drum and bassy, very electronica sound. which let's go down to even less trashy, where you have like two crashes of different sizes stacked on top of each other, mm -hmm. where you get this super clean, controlled sound because they just sit and there's nothing, no extra gaps in there. Great for just attacks or uh, like a splash alternative, or it could be a X hat alternative. And then with that, you get like all these trash crashes out there where you can align and misalign the holes, and then you get a different tonalities where if more air can bust through the symbols in different spots. Yeah. Oh, that's really And that's cool. just a starting point. There's no rules with stacks. No rules with stacks. Thank you, Adam, My so pleasure. much for taking the time to come out here and share these insights. I know I found a lot of value in it. Hopefully, there's something that you learned today. If you're at all curious at test driving out some of these ideas. You know you can always come into a Lone Star location, either in Dallas or in Southern California, on the interwebs, lonestarpercussion.com or minosymbols.com or on Facebook, YouTube, Instagrams, all of them social media sites. Until next time. <laughs> Here's Adam from Minel.